Good afternoon everyone. This is Rena from Scrappy by Choice. I've got a, a little project that I'd like to share with you. Uh, I showed you a little book um, that I called uh, Talk Emoji to me. Um, I had some papers left and I decided to um, use it up because I really do not want it back in my cupboard. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm running out of storage. So I'm really trying to use up every little scrap that I have. This is Emoji Love by Simple Stories. It's a really fun uh, paper pack for the kids. Um, my daughter got this cute little, I showed you before I think, uh, got this cute little um, printer. It's really cute. Look, it fits on my hand like that. And um, it attached to your cell phone and it makes these cute little photos. These are 2 by 3 photos. It's got a sticky back so you just peel it off and stick it. So we decided to make her this little uh, uh, book album to keep her photos together and she's really excited about it so you know as soon as she puts some photos in I might show you uh, I also I used uh, leftovers from the 12 by 12 um, but I also had a little um, little bit left from the 6 by 8 paper pad and that's what I've used I have so many stickers and um, embellishments left uh, still and I'm giving it to her with this book so she could just use it you know the way that she would like to let's get this out the way uh, I was trying to make a shaker style folio <laughs> but I gotta say I'm not impressed my things doesn't move it became very static I think and now it doesn't want to move you know uh, I'm not sure if you can see that with all the glare there. Um, this little folder, this little um, mini folder, I made it exactly the same as one of my previous books, the uh, Be Mine uh, photo uh, folio. Um, I made it exactly the same, of course, just in smaller proportions, but it's exactly the same. I used some stickers on the back, on the on the spine. I used uh, plain cardstock on the back with the sticker there. It's got, of course, another spine. This little book measures, for those who want to know, this little book measures eight and a half by uh, five and a half inches. So it's a good size. I use some washi tape on the front and on the sides. Um, and I use acetate um, uh, to use to make, uh, to make the, um, the shaker form with. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not impressed. My things are not moving. It became static. And together with the sequence... The sequins are moving. Together with the sequins, the stuff just doesn't want to move. I, I will definitely do it again, but I've got some other ideas. Uh, this is the little book from the top. These cute little um, paper clips I got from the dollar store. Uh, it's just so much fun to use them. I thought they, they went well with this collection. So this book is kept together there with, uh, with a magnet. Like I say, I made this exactly the same as my um, folio style uh, photo folder, Be Mine. It's exactly the same, just smaller. Open it up like this. This is what you see on the well, first when you open the book. There's a little uh, shallow pocket there with some photo mats. Like I say, she could add her little photos in there. On this side, same thing, little pocket uh, to add her little photos. It's uh, I left this open there, little talk spot on the top. Oops, out of frame that I can show you there. I did not have enough paper 
the cover all the pages so here and there I've used um, I think is it called lawn fawn uh, I got that free when I ordered something last time and I used some of that there uh, there's a photo mat and that goes in behind that little sticker there like that so when you open this side of the book that is what you will see the whole thing doesn't fit into the frame perfectly but I will try I tried to make this I had a lot of uh, unicorn things so I tried to make the whole thing in the front in the beginning a unicorn uh, theme like I showed you the first pocket there with photo man I've got another page here with some pockets I've got this cute little um, paper clip from the collection taking out all the photo mats there I'd like to show you a little closer this is the page with all the pockets I think this was almost the only uh, page full page left that I had from the eight the six by eight um, paper pack uh, we have some photo mats here <laughs> I like this this uh, little thumbs up was uh, attached with um, with a brad from the kid and now it moves so yes I like it no I don't yes I do no I don't so she can just add her uh, photos to this and um, you know hopefully when she does I can I can show you so this one I like to put in there we've got some more uh, photo mats I left them uh, black on the back so she can do her own decorating and stickers and and so on this pocket actually goes all the way to the bottom so it's easy for these to slip down all the way so I stick them in just a little bit I made a little booklet you spark your sparkle has not gone unnoticed so don't forget it opens up like this and we have a little booklet there that she can decorate herself the little booklet goes in the top pocket like that and then I like to now use the paper clip and stick it on there and it'll keep this top one from um, this top photo mat from slipping down all the way of course you could make a big photo mat that fits in there uh, I didn't think about that at that time first go to this side uh, this page flips open let me show you a little closer there here we have a little pocket a side pocket um, again I used all the scraps that I could like I say I think this is lawn fawn I think that's the name of it a little 6x6 uh, 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 paper pack that I got for free once when I ordered something and I used that in there there's the photo mats this one's too cute it's like pajama pants and uh, she could do some journaling there I stick that in there oh, there we go on this side I made two little pages that flips open they are both um, little belly bands I think you would call that a little closer I made two little stoppers so your your uh, photo mats don't slide right through these are little cards from the cut apart page that she could um, do some journaling on and add some photos to it they just slip in there this one slips in there they flip open on this side again um, a place for photos they can slip in right behind there this one slips in right behind this lol on this page I used uh, a white card stock there where she can stick her photos on this is a 4x4 journaling card that I just got uh, the head open there on top made a slit got a sticker in there and I got some tags in there and they won't 
you know, they won't fall out. It's just a cute little interest where she can add photos. See, your photos can just add in there and, and on the top in the back there. Flip this open. These two pages here, the side and the side look exactly the same. I made two little pockets and you got to take out the photo mats these two to open this one and to open this side you could totally stick a photo on this on these two if you wanted to but the main thing is to put your stickers your your photos on the on on, on the white cardstock uh, see there's the pocket and she can just slip more photo, little photos in there or stick them she can easily make a collage of four photos on each thing flip it closed like that and then put more photos or journaling on these cards and slip them into the pockets like that I just love these stickers it's just so cute I think this is roll on the floor laughing I'm getting there oh my god this one flips open um, on this page on this side I made a little waterfall and uh, I, I used a, a strip of paper with a little buckle there, you know, like a belt. It just opens up like that. What's that? And I made a waterfall, opens like this. She can now stick her photos on the sides there. You can even put a photo on there if you wanted to. And right at the back, I used plain white. Uh, again, for more photos. Look, your photos can go on there. Or she could do some journaling. Now, I know her little printer prints, um, I don't know, what do you call them? Uh, photos up like this. A uh, portrait photos. And then it also prints... Um, uh, photos like this so they would I tried to make the book so these little photos can fit in there so put the waterfall back it just goes into this um, little buckle I did not use any magnets on this book except for closure on the main page uh, this page here is right in the middle see of the book this is your the back of the book I think you would say I made a pocket there with a booklet opens up like this made some tags in there this is like a little belly band uh, she can just slip her photos in there here I made um, oops here I made uh, I used the two um, uh, pizza slices and I stuck it on a paper clip and she can now use this for uh, decoration anywhere in a book anywhere she wanted to there's a taco at the bottom there as a stopper so she you can put your photos in there and it won't fall out so that's the little booklet here uh, for a little bit more interest I made like um, I don't know what would you call this a concertina fold little album it just flips open like this see um, I left it mostly planes because I want her to decorate it herself on the first little page I did make a slit in there and I added two little uh, tags that could just you know slip in there a uh, little photo will definitely fit on the back there or she could do some journaling and um, and like I say the rest of this I left it plain so I would like for her to add her own style her own stickers and things there uh, this flips open to this so we've got a pocket right there and I left this open, I think. Yep, I left this open. So that's like a little tuck spot on the top there. 
um, fold this back and this photo book little um, booklet or photo mat keeps this in place again I used one of the cute paper clips from the collection on that side and now how you use this book is you close all these pages like that before you go to this side of the book now this side of the book like I said was part of the unicorn uh, theme I made a little pocket there there's a, a photo mat um, I made like a little booklet that pulls out of a, a belly band uh, she can totally you know decorate this herself I've got on the top there I left this open so you can stick a photo in there uh, you can stick your photos in the pocket there this little book was mainly made for her to stick her little photos in and this photo mat keeps that in place so the next page this side of the little booklet I gotta say to you look exactly like this side see these two are the same here I've made a little pocket my little pocket there side pocket I got these the photo mats in there she can decorate it herself further than this on this side we've got the two little flip pages uh, with the belly bands in there we have um, a photo mat like that she could do some journaling on it I added here and there I added uh, brads from the collection just slips back in there this one slips back in there get this open and like I said to you this side and this side look exactly the same uh, it's close this up see on this side I am left this open so you can stick your photo in there this can also be used the little paper clip there um, on this side I cut a 4 by 4 I just made a slit above the head there uh, to add the, the photo mats there the little tags just slips back in there like that open this side of the book again look, oops, look exactly the same as this side um, <clears throat> we've got two pockets there you've got to pull out your um, photo mats like that so that you could open this and open that side like that there's a pocket there pocket there for you to slip in photos put in the photo mat put in this photo mat on this side and it flips to this side see this side and this side here look exactly the same two waterfalls opens up with a little belt it just tucks into this little um, buckle I think I open it up like this there's the waterfall the same on this side I left this blank I thought this is ideal spot for journaling or to make like a little collage with her photos just get this back on there and on the very last page the inside of the back cover um, I made a little collage that was really the last last pieces of paper that I had left I made a little pocket there with the photo mat in again I made a little belt with a buckle there I stuck this one down this opens up like that and we have a bigger pocket with uh, a little booklet I thought you know she could just decorate this herself um, and on the back there I left a little pocket or a little tuck spot where she could uh, stick her photos in there's a cute little paper with this hard eyes a little booklet go back in like that a little belt comes back I really got to say 
I love this little part. This is just a cute, fun little element um, that I added there. The little belt goes back in there. Duck in behind the pocket as well. Doesn't have to, but I made it long, so it, it does. And um, photo mat back in, and this is how I close the book. I just get all get it all back like that. Get this back, and this now just this side just flips over to the side, and there is the magnet closure, just like that. Thank you very much for looking. I really appreciate your time. Please go visit me on my Facebook page called Scrappy by Choice. Uh, I would love to see you there. And maybe you can show me your books that you made or give me some tips on how to do my shaker style uh, next time. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.